Hi, welcome back to Rebel Health. I'm Dr. Ellen Vora. I'm a holistic psychiatrist practicing in New York City. And today I want to talk about a topic that keeps coming up in my practice, which is the relationship between taking stimulants, that's things like Adderall, Concerta, Ritalin, Vyvanse, uh, and then uh, gut healing. So if you're in this wellness, functional medicine, holistic medicine space, you've heard about gut healing and that the gut is this all important organ and to really feel good, to really not be inflamed, to really have your full cognitive function, you want your gut to be very healthy. And for a lot of us, our gut is not so healthy. Um, there are so many ways to have an unhealthy gut, even just existing in the United States in 2017. It's hard to be unscathed. Um, we're born by C-section, we're not breastfed, we might be given antibiotics at some point, Point. Even if we avoid antibiotics, we're eating sugar and caffeine and alcohol and crappy processed foods. We're under chronic stress. And then, of course, there's antibiotics um, in our foods, in our poultry, in our dairy, and also in our tap water. So um, very few are immune from this or exempt. I think that if you grew up like playing in mud in somewhere in the developing world, you have a much better shot at having a diverse gut flora. But if you're from anywhere in the US, you have a pretty good shot at having a compromised gut flora, which means you're gonna have compromised digestive function and gut function, and your gut might be inflamed. So then, we want to heal the gut. And you can read anywhere all of these different protocols and ways of healing the gut. Things like um, taking bone broth or consuming more ghee or avoiding inflammatory foods like gluten, dairy, sugar, avoiding NSAIDs, things like ibuprofen, um, avoiding antibiotics, avoiding things like steroids, a birth control pill, or pharmaceuticals like psychiatric medications, um, avoiding things like antacids, Nexium. Um, but then what I've learned is that a lot of my patients who are on stimulants that I'd never started, um, they're really struggling to heal their guts. They're doing everything right, they're meeting with all the right doctors, they are taking all the supplements, they're eating the perfect foods, they're even getting acupuncture and practicing relaxation and using a squatty potty and yet they are still not successfully healing their guts. So it's like, what gives? Why isn't this working? And I'm realizing slowly that it's the stimulant. Um, and if you think back to freshman year in high school in biology class, we learn about these two branches of the autonomic nervous system. There's the sympathetic branch, which we think of as fight or flight, and then there's the parasympathetic branch, which we think of as rest and digest and repair. So the, opt the key word there is repair. We need to be in that parasympathetic tone, rest, digest, repair, in order to heal the gut. But if you're taking a stimulant every day, that is by definition putting the body into a sympathetic tone in their nervous system. It's a stimulant, it's stimulating, so it's putting you in the sympathetic fight or flight tone. That's great if you want to study really hard and focus, not so great if you want to heal your gut. So there's a little bit of a one step forward, two steps back thing that has to happen if you're on a stimulant and you want to heal your gut. So when my patients are in that position, we very slowly work towards tapering them off of the stimulant while supporting their focus and their energy through other means so that eventually they can heal their gut so that they can really have genuine energy and the ability to focus naturally without medication. But usually it requires healing the gut to even get to that place. Um, so I hope that this is helpful, and if you're on a stimulant and you're trying to heal your gut, consider working with a doctor who can support a taper so that you can really authentically heal your gut, which will probably require getting off of the stimulant. Hope this is helpful. All the best to everybody out there, and see you next time on Rebel Health.